President Ford, I was at a dinner a few weeks ago, and <clears throat> Bob Strauss, Ambassador Strauss, who's with us tonight, spoke. He talked about an exchange of letters he had with you. He was the chairman of the Democratic Party, and you were the President of the United States. And he talked about civility and how important it was that people respect each other, even though they may disagree. Looking at Washington today, in the year 2000, how does it look to you in terms of civility or lack thereof? Tim, one of the best advice that I ever received came from a great Texas Speaker of the House. Shortly after uh, I was sworn in in 1949, Sam Rayburn <clears throat> got all the new freshman members of the House and gave them a lecture, which was a tradition that he followed. And one of the things he said, uh, learn to disagree without being disagreeable. I've remembered that from the very beginning. Those were always the guideposts for Sam Rayburn. It was good advice then. It would be excellent advice, I think, today. <laughs> When I ran against Jerry, and when I ran against later Ronald Reagan, we never referred to each other as anything except my distinguished opponent, <clears throat> or my honorable opponent, or my worthy opponent. And, and this was a, 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 a feeling in the country that even applied to most Senate and governor and, and congressional races as well. It wasn't, it wasn't an accepted thing to run a negative campaign. Do you have any second thoughts about your pardon of <laughs> President Clinton? Uh, President, excuse me, President Nixon. I noticed and, everybody got quiet to hear the <laughs> and, and, and from a strictly political standpoint, do you believe that that pardon cost you re-election? Oh, uh, there's no question, but uh, uh, I must say this. Um, there were people in the country who hated Mr. Nixon so much, under no circumstances would they forgive me. But when Jimmy and I uh, closed out the campaign, uh, I lost by about a, one and a half or two percent of the vote. Uh, anything, that being among them, could have made the difference. But uh, it was a good campaign, a good election, and. A good friend won, so I congratulate you. Very much. Very nice. Let me say one other thing, though, that you haven't asked about. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, uh, if you ask a historian, of all the former presidents that have served in this country in the last 200 years, who are the two? that have become the closest personal friends, it would be the two on the stage tonight. That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs>